Hi, my name's Nikki James. I'm Vice President of Human Resources and Learning and Talent Development for Cook Group. And uh, very excited to say that this is our vaccine clinic um, held at Profile Park, which is a property that we bought fairly recently and we're in the process of renovating. And it seemed like a great place for us to be able to hold a vaccination clinic for our employees that are remote workers from our main campus and also all of our surrounding area companies as well. So that will all be happening next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the 21st to the 23rd. And uh, really just happy to get it done. We're running one right now in part 48 and it's going really well. So very happy to be able to be part of this effort. So they'll be met by greeters and then they would come here to the registration site just to make sure that they were fully registered to book them in. And then we would take them through to a pre-waiting area here and there'll be other cook employee volunteers that will be here to help them and then um, normally you'll find that the scheduling is so smooth that people won't be waiting here more than a couple of minutes and then they'll be called through into the vaccination area so you'll see here we have um, six stations each of them would be manned by uh, one of our clinic staff or one of our qualified nurses on site and the patient would come in here um, they'll be asked their you know, precursor questions to make sure that they're okay to have the vaccine today. Given the vaccine, then their vaccination card. At that time, they'll book them the second appointment. And when they're um, seen, everything's good, we take them through to wait. So if someone's never had a, an adverse reaction with a vaccine, they just need to wait for a 15 minute period. If they have um, had an adverse reaction to any previous vaccine, we'd actually ask them to wait for 30 minutes. And we have medical um, teams on site as well, in case there are any issues. We have the ability to be able to um, take the Pfizer vaccine. We have the um, extra special storage that was needed. So the storage will be in here, the pharmacists will be in here, and they really work on calculations of the people coming per day and the timings that they're coming and defrost the vials and then fill the syringes. And then there'll be a runner. I've been the runner this morning. There'll be a runner that then takes a basket into uh, the vaccination areas and make sure everybody stays stocked up with the vaccines. On the vaccine, there is a time. Um, you have six hours from when you have actually um, defrosted and rehydrated the vaccine. You have six hours from that moment to be able to put it into the patient's arm. So we have the times on there and all of them will be in here. And then they'll come through into a waiting area. In this room, They'll just be asked to stay here for 15 minutes. We have observers here. We make sure that everybody gets a COVID sticker before they leave. They also will have received a second uh, message from the state saying that they've confirmed their second vaccine. And then we ask them to just go on whilst they're waiting in their 15 minutes, just to go online and complete their registration for the second vaccine. And that's all there on the screen as well. We have observers in this area, just making sure everybody's okay, just wandering around, um, asking if everyone's all right, asking them to let us know if they're feeling a little strange. And at the end of the 15 minutes, that's it, they can leave. If we do have any problems though, we actually have medical personnel on site who will be just here by the observation area. And we also have the ability to be able to drive an ambulance into the building should we need to take anybody out. But so far, so good. Well, being in, being in HR, um, obviously it's, it's been a lot about making sure that our employees are, are taken care of. And we have critical manufacturing, so we've needed to make sure that we convert our whole manufacturing um, site to make sure that it's safe and um, compliant to our COVID protocols. Uh, we've worked with an executive response team to make sure that the building stays safe, make sure that our supply chain is good so that we can continue to take care of patients. And really it's been very stressful time for everybody with their families and their children and, and just sort of an, the new abnormal as it were. And so just making sure that we really ramped up all of the things for employees with leaves, things for mental well-being and physical as well. Also, we had to take a fully in-house team and convert them to a fully remote team. So we have all of our manufacturing staff that are still in the building, but a thousand employees within a week had to be um, made into remote employees. and so. A lot, of, a lot of challenges along the way, um, but I think our team have been incredibly resilient and very proud of them. Excited to say that in the next month or so, we're going to start doing a slow roll 
back to inviting them in on a more of a hybrid schedule going forward.